Hello and welcome back to Super Paper Bowser! Uh, yeah, with me, Possum Pensexual, and today we start the next chapter! Oh, you excited? <laughs> Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and the Mario Gang grew closer! Don't remind me, please. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them all. What a weird was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new, far-out trials. Chapter 4-1, Into Outer Space. So you did give me the right hint with Out of This World and I said Space Station. You were <laughs> still wrong, though, so... I mean, of all the things we go, if I say space station and the theme is outer space... Nope, you were wrong again. Maybe you'll get a correct guess at some point. Mmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space. Almost certainly. You're about to find out why I told you to pick Bowser. Mmm, yeah, space you say. I guess I do feel lighter. And... <laughs> Look at him. Can't <laughs> 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 breathe. <laughs> ah, oh, of course. There's not any air. You need that, don't you? <laughs> uh, oh, gracious me. What am I to do? Oh I love In other Mario games, you just casually walk among stars here. You die. Love mm -mm. it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, let me see. Um, um, then, well, uh, well, but so, no! In Mario Galaxy, Mario is clearly on planets that usually have an atmosphere. Oh, and when he's flying through them, the little star paths, okay, they clearly carry air with them for Mario. I'm, I'm not talking about Mario Galaxy, though. I'm well, talking about care. Mario and Luigi, uh, Partners in Time, for example. Well, in Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, they're clearly... <laughs> Hey, please wake up. <laughs> Checkmate. Did Bowser just go, yeah? <laughs> huh? Whoa, how'd we get back here? Uh oh. There we go. Uh oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> uh, technical difficulties. You're alright, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness, Bowser is so shocked. <laughs> I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. In every character, where uh, in every game where Bowser's a main has a main role and not just as an ata antagonist, he has always such amazing expressions. And that's why partners in time is bad. <laughs> yes. We won't <laughs> we won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlon's advice. And Bowser's back to normal. Right, Carrie. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. Pew. I love elevators. Elevator. Hello. When they remake this game, which I don't think they're ever going to do because for some reason they're ashamed of it, uh, and they need to make the elevators twice as long. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 that was certainly quick work. You've already found the next pure high. Not exactly. No, Merlon. That door led us straight into outer space. <laughs> space? Oh no, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. <laughs> you almost <laughs> died, you say? Yes, there was no air, so Mario and the other two, who cares about them, couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. Great, super. So, you're gonna hand one over or what? Of course. I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. And I just yeah, so who happen cares? to... It just needs to be like one. <laughs> oh, blast it.
That's... What now? Oh, double blasted all. I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space and I gave it to someone in town. Making space? <laughs> to who? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, just a random boy. It seemed more convenient than recycling it. Always recycle, no one. <laughs> you must find that boy and explain and the situation. Beat the shit out of him. Get it back oh, from the him. Situation. <laughs> You're talking Buzz to Bowser. Bowser's like already killed the kid. <laughs> Bowser's like, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I explained the situation to him. He was gonna die if he didn't hand it over, and he didn't hand it over. Really Does he look like he has a space helmet? No. Ah, uh, where do I need to go? Up. Up? No, not in that one, not in that one. The <laughs> other one. Where, Where are you going? Ah, the, the, the right one. You were just there. You were literally just there after you talked to that child. You were there. <laughs> I know my memories. I haven't been up Twitch. there in ages, though. The elevator was there. You we went there two episodes. How ago should I to get the disc? I know, but on the other side, how should I know that a child with a help? Yeah, that's a helmet, all right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Did Merlin give me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I kept it Captain Gill's here in a cup. But then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. <laughs> this is... Thing is, now the captain got so big, the bowl got too small for him. Oh no. Hey, I know. Maybe you could find a nice place to set Captain Gills free for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you get the fishbowl. Good, huh? Hmm, but where can he go? I want to know what he'll that he'll be nearby at all times. You got to help me. You got a goldfish bowl. Got the goldfish bowl. Just dump him out and then pick the bowl, like, dump it out in front of him and just leave. No, talk to him again. <laughs> bon voyage, Captain Gills. Don't forget about me. I just want to talk more as him. <laughs> Alright. Let's give that fish a new home. I already know where I dump it. It will not have a lot of light, but it's gotta be nearby. It's also the only body of water in Flipside. So far. It's the only body of water in Flipside. Oh, It's kinda sad. Where do they get their... water from? Do they... wait, they are made of paper, so they probably don't need water. Oh, where actually there is the fountain. Right! The fountain does not work. Uh, I think... I think it's just cause like, that's like... I don't oh. know, I think they just like have a sewer system. Oh, mama! Did I get some interesting info from a buddy of mine? He swore on me to secrecy, but you look like you keep quiet, so I'll tell you. And now, I blow your mind. Sure. Dump on a Koopa to reduce it to just its shell. Pass that kills them. <laughs> Got that? Did you hear me? That's some sweet info, huh? Keep it under your hat. Please, just let me... Just let me oh, use the on. goddamn Pixel elevator. Jump. Got that? <laughs> oh, I love the people that walk in front of elevators. It's so much fun. <laughs> Alright, buddy. This looks like a good place to release the captain. Release goldfish here? Yes. Now the fishbowl is empty, that means you can use it as a space helmet. Get in the water with him. Now we can go to space, so let's head back to that door. Where are you? So oh. Captain Gills, as uh, the small child has told you, he's quite the grower. Maybe check up on him, uh, that sounds really wrong I realise. Maybe check up on him on each, uh, each, each visit back to Flipside. Alright, will do. I mean, we need to get to uh, the merchant anyway, so... 
We need to go to space now, anyway. Let's go to space. Oh yeah, but talk to the kid one more time. This kid? <laughs> oh, mama, just now got that. Oh. Uh, all right, we'll see each other at the kid. No. I do not believe in fortune tellers. I am Bowser. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do like character for chapter four. Okay, there's one character who I think you're just gonna know, uh, who voices it when you see them. But the first character we meet in chapter four is like a major character for chapter four. I reckon you should voice. Them. All right. Thanks for giving Captain Gills his freedom. And um, you don't got to tell me where he is now. I pretend he's still here. Does he think we killed his fish? I think he does. Use the return pipe, I think it's faster. Oh, yeah, for sure. Alright. Uh. Now also have the helmet and your important things. Let's go! We're finally going to chapter 4. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's only been 12 minutes. Chapter 4, here we go! This time for real. Chapter 4 1. And now the music properly starts. Uh, Wanna use the helmet? Nah. Nah. Sure. <laughs> oh, you should have said it a few times. Oh, well. Well, what do you think? Can you breathe now? He looks like Olimar. Mm. Oh yeah, I can breathe. <laughs> but now my nose itches. Man, I hate space. <laughs> Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in this sea of stars. Use carry. You, I, I believe, are not any faster when using carry in space. However, it looks cooler. Second thing, Bowser cannot use his fire in space because... Down goes down. Uh, and he is just a bigger target. However, I don't believe he's any slower in space. So use oh. him because it's also funny. <laughs> SOS. 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 Hey there. Uh, you look like you're gonna explode. <gasps> There's something here. What in the world is this? Why was this hidden here? Oh yeah, you're definitely going to want to play as Bowser for this interaction. <laughs> Just, uh, you know who the voice. Hmm, is this a spaceship? Looks rather like it. Gravy, you're ugly! What in the world are you? And what are you doing here? You're the ones looking for the pure heart, Squirrel! Hmm, cuter than I thought! Psst! <laughs> Sorry, uh, how do you know about the pure hearts? And about us? Are you allied with Count Black? I demand answers! No! We'll kill the kid! Scary faces, you can call me Squirps. I'm your captain, Squirk. And if you want the pure heart, we need to work together, Squirp. Whatever do you mean? Please explain yourself. Squirps can't tell much now, but you must trust Squirps. Now follow me, Squeaks. We won't be doing that. Squirps. Squawk! You heed to the captain. You are a space grunt now, and it is the only rule. The only response should be yes, sir, and gotcha. Understand, Squirkle? Gotcha. <laughs> squee, gotcha. squee, squee. <laughs> Looks like you understand your place, Squirp. Are you okay with this? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But the second the kid crosses me, I'm much of like a green corn nibbit. Oh, that does not sound like a good word, Bowser. <laughs> if you say so. Great! 
let's get ready then. Squawk formation, squawk Oh, well, squawk directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except Squarp's invented it. In order oh, well, to this squawk, is gonna be an easy one. we'll need a lot of energy. Squeak! You're all brimming with power up, power, right? You must give it to Squarp's. Press A to give Squarp's your power up power. Press and hold A until you think you've built up enough power up power, then release. Keep holding A until you feel the power and then release. Ooh. Ooh, oh, this is not coming up. Ooh. 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 You're gonna release at any point. Ooh. 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 Ah, <laughs> Success! Fucking killing me there. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't know like if there was something coming or not, and I, you know, rather warp there than not far enough or something. And here we go, Squarp! Yeah, if you hold A long enough, you just skip the entire chapter. Actually, for real? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't so know. Good. Believe anything. It's 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 a weird game, you know. Squawk. We're not even close to your destination, Squawks. Is that all the power up power you have, Squarp? Good for nothing, Space Grunt. Squarp was an idiot for thinking you had more. Well, good for nothings have their own good for nothing ways of moving, Squeak. There's a ways to get before you reach the pure heart. You must space swim. Use two to shoot enemies with my squirp squirt beam. Squirp fire space grunt. Charge! All right, ride carry. All right, and now you have your own magic spaceship. Let's so go. Cool. Just honestly, mash the two button. You have no limit of shots. It's not like firing them rapidly is going to make it any weaker. You just kill anything that's in front oh, of you. What I, did you even pick up? I have no idea. That's Check the... your items. Uh, what did we get? A Vultrum. That's pretty good. That's pre sounds pretty good. It it's makes giving... enemies that touch you get spiked. Giving me farewell, farewell vibes here. Just missing the tardigrades. Well, what are space. these enemies? Um, they sure are. Can you guys please get out of there? So I can <laughs> can, you, kill can you? you stop being broken so you can die? <laughs> I always just call them water bears. No, I missed the egg. Much more fun name. The what? Water bears. Tardigrades. Oh, They're yeah. They're water bears, aren't they? I prefer calling them water bears. It's so much cuter. Yeah, it's the German so that's something you can see. If you if you hit a save block while you're riding on carry, then they have that weird state where they're not underneath you, but they um hmm. aren't like in their pixel form. That's funny. <laughs> In you go. Oh. Uh, and German, they're just <coughs> literally called bear animals. So not really cute. I think Tardigrade is cuter than bear or... Water bear. Oh my god, it's a space shooter! <laughs> is this all this chapter is gonna be? Not in like, I want something else. This is perfect. Well, don't worry. Um, it's not. All right, it's also a labyrinth, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's not a labyrinth. It's four labyrinths. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, this is a. Uh, this, this isn't a good chapter. I'll be honest. It, 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 this chapter has probably like the best boss, or one of the best bosses. Uh, it's got a pretty interesting gimmick. It just sucks. It's not 
fun. It's not interesting. It just sucks. You're going around space, and then you're going around space, and then you're going around space, and then you have a cool boss fight, and then you're done. Yo. Even the enemies aren't the most interesting of things. I mean, they just kind of like come near you, and maybe they'll hit you, but really, you're just going to shoot so many bullets that they can't even get past you. I see. It just wasn't a very well thought out chapter. I see. Yeah. Uh, so end. this is a dead end. It's not as confusing in that case, uh, unless there's something to the left side. Of course there is. <laughs> Can you not teleport yourself into... If you had gotten hit by that, that would have 100% been your fault. Yeah. But they can't even hit me. Like, why did I heal myself? Alright, that's... Because you were on 1 HP. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, that's the Mushroom Galaxy again. Oh, uh, yeah, don't expect that to have any level of consistency. That's just the background. No, it's the same level. Uh, it's the same enemies and everything. Okay, no, it's a different level. God damn it. Yeah, sure, you know more, about, more than me. So, how do I get back there? Hmm. Hmm. You know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I must transform. That's just mean. That's just mean not knowing. Okay, I think Mario is fun and all, but let's let's have some space girl action. No, Bowser. He was gonna be my voice character this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I can I can switch back to Bowser. But I just I'm really annoyed by these enemies right now, and there's a lot of asteroids. I don't want to have some <laughs> best girl. <laughs> Asteroid. Oh. oh, well, switch to Bowser first. Alright, that Is there was... anything in this chapter? What? That we missed? No. Not really. Alright. Just, there's, there's nothing. It's just space. <laughs> End of chapter! End of chapter! Woo! Ooh, my back. Save the progress. Mario and the gang cruise through space, led by the young alien named Swips. What kind of creature was it anyway? And what was with those weird noises? Whenever confronted with a question, it would say, Squips is Squips! <laughs> All they could do was trust that he knew where the pure heart was and follow him. They were doing just that when something appeared ahead of them. What is it? It was a teeny tiny planet. And in that planet we have chapter, chapter. four two. A paper emergency. I hope you're a legend of Zelda fan. This planet really seems on the small side. Just where do you intend to take us? Somewhere on this planet should be an entrance to the space byway square! Hit by. <laughs> yep. It's a shortcut to the pure heart! Really? You don't say. And where might that entrance be? Squee, 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 squee! You're gonna love Squawk! It's... Squirps for God! Yeah, I knew it all along. <laughs> I'm losing my Bowser voice. No! I knew it all along. <laughs> All along, I knew something was off about this deal. I'm not saying that again, Bowser. It feels like a weird space slur. I didn't trust you from the beginning. Squarg. What in the... Gr now I'm talking like you. I still don't have it. My throat fucking hurts, that's why. Don't look at squirps like that. Everything's fine! I think there probably should be some clays around here somewhere, Squirple! What a wretch. <laughs> 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 
What is it? Did you remember something? No, oh, I I have to go potty. I really have to go, Squirk. I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> Let's look for some clues ourselves. <clears throat> we will look Welcome for more. Welcome to Planet Lobule. Next time, we're going to find out where Squirps is taking his massive dump, I guess. <laughs> uh, and maybe we I'll regain the Bowser voice. <laughs> Yes, I hope if you like this episode, please leave a like Bro. and subscribe. And I wish all of you a wonderful <laughs> oh god, uh, morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time of day you're at, and a wonderful rest of the day. Bye! Huh?